Hi everyone, this is my first tutorial on how to make bottle cap charms for hair bows or necklaces or I made these as earrings with sport teams on them. Um, the possibilities are endless. Uh, I get these colored caps on Ribbon Retreat. Um, they are blank and they come in a lot of different colors. Uh, I believe they're 10 for a dollar. They don't have any liners in them, so they're nice and clean. But I also like to use ones that I get at a beer supply company. They're also new, but they do have a liner in them. Um, so in order for my image to lay flat, I just remove the inside ridge. It will have a ridge like that. So I move the in, remove the inside ridge so the image will lay flat inside the liner. So it's up to you. You can either do it on the outside or the inside. Both look equally nice. This is an outside. This is an inside one. Just depends on your preference. I'm also going to be using Mod Podge. And I to glaze them. I use Envirotex Resin, a two-part, it's a two-part um, combination of resin and hardener, and they come together, and you can get them at Michael's or any craft store, um, and it makes your image very durable. Um, I had a customer who actually washed her ribbon with her charm in it, and the image stayed perfect so it makes it really really strong so for this tutorial I'm going to put my image on the outside <clears throat> I make my images on Mod on um, at uh, GIMP um, if you want I can do a tutorial on how to do them there it's hard to find them on the web this is a lot of trial and error um, so I do one inch circles. For this one, I'm going to be using this little piece love one. So I'm just going to take my one inch hole puncher, like that, and just cut it out. And then I'm going to take, take it and apply some Mod Podge. I use the uh, luster because I like the little um, shine it gives. Just a dot. Just a dot on there. And just going to sp spread it around like that. And you're going to put your image on it. like that. Then what I do to seal it, because you have to seal it, especially if you're using images that are going to be with a lot of white background because the resin will seep into the back of the image, so you want to make sure you seal it really good with Mod Podge. So I take my Mod Podge and I put a nice dot on it like that. And it dries clear, so, and I spread it around, but I pay careful attention to getting the sides sealed really, really good. And just spread it around. Like I said, it dries clear, so you don't have to really worry about being messy or... Um, making it perfect. So it's going to look something like this. See, the sides are sealed really, really good. Now, make sure when you're going to use these for jewelry making or necklaces that your image is straight where you can actually draw a hole in the top where the ridges are. I sometimes don't do that. Okay, so this is going to be part one. Um, I'm going to show you how to pour the resin um, in it in part two. You're going to let this dry 
at least two hours before you pour the resin on it. So that's what you're going to have so far. And I will see you in part two of how to make these bottle cap charms. Thanks for watching.